Hi everybody, today I'm going to review the LG 43-incher UJ6300. Right there. So I gotta tell you, for the price, I really kinda like this monitor. It does have its flaws, but I don't know, for the price, it's kinda hard to beat. I've been looking. Now, let me start with a couple of things that I've noticed as I was using this TV that I connected to my computer. All the LG that are LCD type or you know LCD and backlit with LED have this type of problem where, I don't know if it's easy to tell with, with a video camera, but it's as if there's a gap between the actual LCD and something that it projects to. And basically what it does is you see two things. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but for, for example, this, this scroll bar that supposedly should look really nice. As soon as you tilt a little, you start seeing the reflection of whatever is in the back of it. And it is distracting and all of the LGs that are with this technology have this gap. If you look at other brands, they don't have it. Some of the sharp models have a teeny tiny gap between uh, the actual LCD and whatever anti-reflective sheet that they have over. But this one is really pronounced and you can totally see it. Now, I have to tell you, in my home, I have an old computer and it really has a hard time pumping out these 4K resolution. So that's one thing you have to kind of consider. If you're using it as a computer monitor, you would need a pretty powerful computer and a good graphics card. Now, as far as the features of the TV, it's really cool actually. If I go to the home menu, you can see that it has a ton, a ton, a ton of apps. And what I found really cool is the channel plus. It's like almost like a hundred channels that are free. I'll, I'll show you uh, really quick. I'm gonna mute the volume just so it, uh, I don't get dinged for the um, content, but check it out. All these things are free channels that you can watch. So, so for example, today, latest news, really nice. Also, it has Netflix built in. I just click the Netflix button. And the cool part is that it plays this stuff in Ultra HD 4K. Look at this. See the, uh, it's gonna change soon to Right now it's at 720p. Right now it's switched to 1080p. And let's see if it will switch to uh, 2K. And right now it's twi it's switched to 2K. Uh, as you can see, it takes uh, it takes it some time to ramp up, but it does happen. So that's pretty cool. It also has Amazon straight on the remote. So Amazon and Netflix. And what I wanted to show you is a few options in the menu because I had to change them otherwise uh, this uh, TV was unwatchable. For example, if we go to all settings, we'll go to picture and get into it and then go into the picture mode settings. I had to go to advanced controls It's not there. Maybe it's picture options. True motion. I had to turn it off. The uh, soap opera look that it had was horrible. 
and with true motion turned off uh, I actually think it looks really nice now I also had a problem with the sound so if I go back to sound and I've seen people complain about it that the sound is out of sync so if we go to AV sync adjustment you can as you can see now I put it on minus three I wish they put it in milliseconds so you know exactly how much you're changing but this lets you change the syncing between the video and the audio and what I noticed that by default if I played a video the audio was either faster than the video or something like that they were out of sync and it was a horrible experience if it wasn't for this ability to change the syncing it would have been pretty pretty unwatchable now it also has a bypass right there that you can change really quick so you can notice what uh, the different how it uh, affects the video audio so you can notice the difference and this way you can uh, adjust properly yeah overall I'm really happy with this TV uh, the only minus I have to say about it is that the blacks are not exactly black the um, viewing angles are not the best 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 there's a little bit of color shift as you as you watch it in a in an angle but uh, that's about it I'm really really digging this monitor uh, for under $400 this is an excellent excellent choice especially if you want it as a monitor for your computer now go to the store and check to see if the little gap here bothers you because it does to me and I'll probably return it just because of the black capability of this TV and that issue in the rim where you can see the shadow of whatever is on the side I also wanted to show you what's in the back of the panel and this is it this is how it looks like it has an optical out ethernet port component input with stereo audio antenna HDMI 3 this is a USB in 2 uh, that's in if you want it if you want to watch videos that are on USB and picture and music it has a USB 1 here right there it has HDMI 1 and 2 here now HDMI 2 is ARC capable so that means that with an ARC compatible system you can control this TV using only one remote and only one system it's pretty new so it's a at least good thing that they included it with the TV other than that uh, it's pretty slim not bad so these are the uh, mounting point if you wanted to hang it up now right now I'm running it on Wi-Fi and it's been pretty solid not bad however I did notice some glitches I had to switch from the 5 gigahertz network to the 2.4 gigahertz network and it seemed to be working better on the 2.4 alright so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or comments please please put it in the comment box below please please thumb up subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video till next time Bye.